Uh, today I'm going to be looking at the game Gwent. Uh, it's currently in closed beta. I think it's meant to go to open beta sometime next month or so. All being well. Uh, I just want to give you a quick overview of what's currently available and show you a couple of uh, game run-throughs today. Okay. So, Gwent, the Witcher card game. Um, made by CD Projekt Red, same people that make The Witcher. Uh, if you played The Witcher 3, you're probably already familiar with Gwent, as it was a side game uh, within the main game. Um, I played it a little bit in The Witcher 3, and it was quite good fun. Uh, and I was curious to see what it would be like uh, as a standalone game. I have to say, I found it incredibly addictive. So let's start up. Okay. So things I've currently locked out are the leaderboard and the ranked matches, which require level 10. Although actually I'm not entirely sure if that features in the game at all yet. Um, you've got friendly matches, casual match, which is what we'll be playing in a second. Uh, practice mode, tutorial. Uh, the tutorial uh, you get to play through when you first uh, load up the game. A campaign mode, which isn't in the game yet. You've got your deck builder and your collection, which is where you can manage your deck and craft. Uh, as well as that, you've got a shop. Uh, as I understand Wendy it, uh, this Lots game is going to be uh, free to play, but with microtransactions. Uh, so you see here, uh, you can buy various <laughs> numbers of uh, kegs, which contain cards for varying amounts hey, of money. Barrel boy man. Time is glitter rocks. Uh, you also get free kegs which you can purchase every you time you get soup, up to soup, 800 or yum, yum. bad. Healthy soup. Uh, each keg contains five cards. Uh, four cards are randomly selected no, and no, they'll no, be for no. uh, a random uh, set of the available decks in the game. The fifth card you get to pick uh, yourself from a choice of three. Uh, and as it states here, at least one card will be rare, epic, or legendary. Also good. So let's just jump into a casual match, I think, to start off. Uh, I've had absolutely no problems finding a match, even though this is closed beta, uh, which is good to know. There's plenty of people playing. So, uh, first things first, when you play a match, you get to select your deck. Um, the game comes with several starter decks, as you can see here. Uh, and then I've taken one of those and I'm slowly adding cards to it and changing it for my own preferences. I've chosen really to focus on one deck and kind of learn certain cards that are in it and, and get good with one deck instead of playing with multiple decks. Obviously you can do what you want. I forgive you this time. Uh, one of the nice things Very about the game is words. that it involves crossplay at the moment. So uh, I'm currently playing another PC player because it says Cardsmith. Um, but you can play against Xbox players as well. They'll randomly come up. So that again increases the number of potential players. So first thing in the start of the game, we get to select uh, three cards to redraw. Uh, it's a random selection. And you don't have to redraw all your cards. So we'll leave it at that. Accept. Start the game. Random selection of who goes first. Uh, if you play through the tutorial, it will tell you to play a high card first. So we'll go with something fairly high to start with. Okay. If anyone asks, you've not seen me. Uh, there's three rows you can see, you've got melee, uh, ranged and siege weapons. A lot of cards um, have special effects, so uh, this is one of our spell cards that we're going to use now. Uh, Cast uh, frost over the uh, melee weapons row. If any troops are on that row that are, and they're not immune to weather, uh, they'll receive one so. health. Health will be lowered to one. So we can play uh, the Wild Hunt Warrior, uh, which is immune to weather, so it's helpful. There is mind. no escape. And it gets the damage to play at. There is no 
escape. That's quite cool. Um, a lot of cards uh, come with special effects or no other, uh, skills they can do. So, for example, my golem here. Uh, when it's removed from the battlefield will spawn two lesser golems on the road where its unit was. Uh, that will happen at the end of the round. Um, and like my dragon here that I'm going to play, as you'll see, uh, will remove three strength from another unit. Good work on that one. Oh, it's used a shield. <laughs> that was silly of me. It's uh, to, to win the game, it's best of three rounds. <laughs> and I've enjoyed the strategy so far, and there's quite a lot of um, skin involved. There'll be nothing to, play, to pick up when I'm uh, done with you. Use. And also, like, intentionally losing rounds, like, I'm going to concede this game. Because I don't see myself winning it. And you don't um, carry over the cards you've played already, except for ones that have certain spells and effects on them. So instead of wasting my entire hand on this one round that I wasn't going to win, it's better to end it early. So I'm with the card from the previous round. Carries over. Play my cow as well. Go on, Enkazir! Now I've got to win this round. Early go uh, Otherwise, my opponent will win the entire game. That's worth their own minds. Really going to be all or nothing. Your life is mine now! I think I'm gonna <laughs> Any last words? Good games worth doing because you're getting an extra five all. Uh, no dead rewards from this one. Very little XP. Hardly worth doing. Right, before we do uh, one more game, I'll show you the uh, card keg since I've gained a hundred all. And then we'll go into the deck builder. So, shop. Human in shop. Uh, shop. Uh, as I understand shop. it, if you are playing the closed beta or later on the open beta, if you do choose good to purchase a keg, uh, in the unlikely event that they have to do a data wipe, uh, you'll get refunded the money you've spent. Uh, I get the impression that CD Projekt's Human aim is to not have to wipe any data and let the game transition naturally here. straight from closed beta to open beta and to complete. Uh, but game development, I suppose they never know for sure what will happen. So here we've got our four uh, random cards Goody. you just get to reveal. <gasps> to be honest, I'd rather just see the cards straight away. But turning them around for me doesn't really do anything. Although I do quite find it amusing to hear the uh, card seller there going, ooh. So none of those cards I'm actually using in my current deck. Uh, but perhaps I should start to play with one of the other. No and then we see three more cards. Also, I'm sure the audio just said now four more. Hmm. Um, 
and I'll check that. Uh, so, three cards, and you get to select one. So that's going to those cards. Go back to the shop. Twenty cards. Not now. Uh, if we go to collection. Uh, so this is the crafting uh, section of the game. So first thing we can do is uh, select okay, all factions. That's so every card for every faction, uh, or one of the other ones neutral cards so they're ones that can apply to any faction and then you've got your faction oops, faction specific cards so monsters is the ones I've been mostly using and your different levels of monster cards so the leader cards like everything gold level cards silver level cards and then bronze which is mostly what my decks currently made up of So the new cards that we've uh, acquired you'll find in one of these sets and you can add them to your deck if you want to use them. Now what you might want to do is destroy cards that you don't need. So for example we've got two biting frosts. I only really need one. So if we select mill, you get the option to destroy the card. It will no longer be available to you uh, and you gain five scraps. Scraps are what you use to craft new cards. So if you're not purchasing cards from a keg, you can craft them. So we've done that. We'll close the preview. And now if we can craft a card that costs uh, 80 scraps, I don't know if there's one that does. Destroy the weakest non-gold units on the battlefield. We should craft. Cost is 80. Yes. And the card is crafted. Now we can add that to our deck. So if we come out of our collection, go into deck builder. And here we see Eredin's deck number one. This is uh, the Eredin starter deck, monster starter deck. And I've started to hold it with my cards. Uh, along the bottom here is everything that we uh, have available to us that we can use. Yep. Uh, and then you can filter that by bronze cards, silver cards, gold cards, or all. Do it on the side here as well. Uh, and then we can basically just drag and drop onto what is our deck. So again, we see the three rows. For the melee ranged and uh, siege weapon rows, and we see our spell cards if you like. So I'll just drag that in, and I'm going to just take out, I've got two of the last of those spells, and I really want one of those in. Take that out as well. Quite handy, so that's that. Right, let's put that now cards in my deck might be able to use it. So let's go play another game. And this baseball that is to it at the moment. Yeah, it's just about crafting and building up the best deck you can or decks that you can. And my play, focus play games, suffered much. Like. And I've found it. So good, good you game. shall die world. Good game, so that'll be it for today, I think. Right. So I did that, that's been fairly useless in the past. That's a spell I really like to use. Fog not bothered with. Right, not bothered with. Okay. My turn first again.
left to old one! That's an interesting uh, gold card. We draw up to three cards. Okay, my man's storm. Now, one thing to note with the Scorch uh, special card. Destroy the, the strongest non-gold units on the right, right. right. Fantastic. However, that does include your own. So I think if I play it now, it will remove that enemy card because it's a 10-point card. But also my 10-point card. So, use with caution. So that card will stay on the uh, stay in the game for the next round. Resistance is futile. Have right. strength, my love. <laughs> Might be worth me conceding this one. Right? I have won some of these games. I promise. This is Elven Land, Dwar, upon which your kind dies. My folk have suffered much. So, my opponent's using uh, a special ability from their uh, main card. Where they get to change some cards. You notice we did this at the start of the round, but uh, unless you're using uh, that particular deck, you don't get to do it again. Ought to help one or the other. Feed the round, you can't win. Oh, my little day. some units. Right. So it's seven nil. Right. 
add five to that. And then it just depends on the way. Let's see the other really. one. Only stitches. five. Our game. Whee. Always uh, a little bit of luck involved. Uh, so there's daily bonus. Uh, win six rounds. No, it's not six games, just six rounds. So that could be two whole games, three whole games. More. Uh, get some ore. Get extra as you go. Gain XP for various things, max win, performance. I'm not sure what metric it uses for working that out. Uh, when you level up, you get a Kevin bits and bobs as well, usually. New card. So let's just do one more game. See where we end up. I'd like to win another one. I'll come back and do more videos on uh, Gwent uh, as the game progresses through to full release and as the actual features. Krisa. Any last words? So you can check out uh, other game reviews uh, as well as uh, IT how-to videos on itcoldesac.co.uk. I want to try my new. So, destroy the weakest non-gold units on the battlefield. So that will take out quite a lot of units, but quite a lot of my own as well. That, that might... Uh... That might not prove to be the most useful card in the world. Unfortunate here, I've got all the wild hunt riders with three of them currently in my hand. Uh, usually, if I've only got one in my hand and the other two still in my deck, uh, it will actually play all three at the same time, because that's uh, its uh, special ability. Uh, but because they're already all in my hand, it won't happen for me this time. Which is one of those things. That's interesting, he's got a 24 in his past. So he's assuming I'm going to let him win this round. Let's play. Resistance is futile. Death comes for you. But if I can now win the second round, I win the game. Although I suspect I shall lose terribly. <laughs> right, my turn. Start with that. One He's got a lot more than me. Uh, 
that one require that? Yeah, let's pass these now. That'll give him that round. If I play this, will it destroy those four? Let's find out. Yes! That's handy. Maybe. Not your lucky day. Yeah, we lost. Never mind. Good game. Right, that's all from me. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little look at the Gwent closed beta. I'll be back with more videos real soon. If you have any questions or anything, uh, please leave them in the comments for this uh, YouTube video. And I'll endeavour to respond to them or even produce new video content for your answer. Thank you very much for watching and do check out itcultisac.co.uk.